Uh, hello, welcome to my channel. So today we, today we have a Toyota Prius a 2008 hybrid. So as you can see, <coughs> the uh, EBS and the brake light is uh, illuminating on the dashboard plus with the vehicle speed, uh, vehicle stability control uh, warning light too. And also, as you can see, the brake warning light is also illuminating on the dashboard. So this is the brake light too and the ABS light and vehicle stability control <coughs> warning light as well. So today we are going to in investigate to this together. So <coughs> I have connected the scanner to, an, to it and I have got, uh, I have retrieved uh, this full code. So I'm going to show you. Uh, uh, so this is the DTC uh, uh, C1311 uh, fold slash uh, 11 open in main relay circuit 1 and here the DTC detection condition is explained like so when either condition below is met uh, relay contact is off BS1 terminal is less than 3.5 volt for at least two, is 0.2 second uh, when R1 plus terminal voltage is 9.5 volt or more and main relay 1 is on second condition R1 plus terminal voltage is less than 9.5 volt and main relay one cannot be on for at least 0.2 second when main relay one is turned on BS1 terminal is 3.5 volt or more so this <laughs> and also a uh, treble area is going to be uh, ABS number one relay skid control ecu harness and connector so most likely it's going to be the ebs number one relay so i'm going to <coughs> explain the circuit little bit more so this is the bs1 this is the load circuit and this is the control circuit r1 plus and that's connected here back to the uh, to the ebs uh, ECU and this one is uh, the BS1 uh, this is the sensing control and also this is fed the load side is fed from uh, the ECU as well as you can see uh, from the EBS uh, sensor as well it's it's plus B01 so anyway <coughs> uh, this explanation explanation is explained as BS1 voltage is going to be less than 3.5 volt while r1 plus voltage is 9.5 volt or uh, more than this uh, for at least 0 0.2 uh, second it means that while the control circuit is active and the relay coil is energized and this voltage uh, the voltage is applied to the relay coil is more than uh, 9.5 volt or 9.5 volt exactly and this voltage this contact is less than 3.5 volt sensed by the ECU here for at least two, two, uh, 
for at least 0 0.2 second so <clears throat> it means that when this circuit is delayed closing these two contacts this this uh, two points at this contact for at least 0 0.2 second the fault code is going to be stored while this circuit this voltage applied to the control uh, circuit of the relay is 9.5 volt or more than this this is one condition second condition is this when this voltage is applied here it's less than 9.5 volt and this voltage the load circuit voltage is sensed by the ecu more than 3.5 volt for at least 0 0.2 uh, second and the fault code store the fault code is going to be stored at uh, 2 so in in another word so when bsi or load circuit is not in its spec uh, for 0 0.2 two second the fault code is going to be stored when the <coughs> control circuit or the relay control circuit is not in spec in spec uh, for at least 0 0.2 second the fault code is, is going to be stored in the memory too so either if the load circuit is not in spec for 0 0.2 second the fault code is going to be stored or the control circuit is not in spec for 0 0.2 second the fault code is going to be stored in the memory and if the condition uh, occurs which I have explained <coughs> there is another condition for example it says uh, if this code fault code we have uh, C13 uh, C uh, 12 slash 12 so 13 C C 13 12 4 slash 12 and it says relay contact is on for at least uh, four second when main delay one is off so when the <coughs> main delay is turned off and the contact remains the main contact of the relay remains uh, closed for at least four seconds and the short it says the uh, this fault code is going to be stored short in main relay one circuit so <coughs> this uh, <coughs> circuit is uh, operating uh, very very interestingly so you will not be able to uh, point, find the problem or diagnose with the multimeter you need uh, lab scope to connect uh, uh, to the circuit and then uh, watch until the problem occurs and watch uh, uh, until the uh, uh, scope or lab scope can detect the problem because you need to <coughs> connect to prove this circuit and this circuit and uh, uh, while they <coughs> then compare the delay uh, between the uh, activation of the, the two circuit and compare that uh, together uh, due to the time passing or uh, as the vehicle uh, getting old and the parts also worn out uh, so for example uh, when the relay is heat up uh, the resistance of this contact is going to be increased and this relay is so sensitive as you can see here uh, this is the uh, relay coil one and two here and this is the contact five and three and here as you can see the specification the specified condition 
three pipe when the contact is open this to three and five three and five should have more than 10 10 kilo ohms or higher uh, resistance so more than 10 kilo ohm ohms uh, resistance so when the three and five is closed uh, one and two is uh, connected or the circuit of one and two is completed so then the this contact this five and three contact should be less than one ohm so in this relay is worn out the contact close open close open this is going to uh, this contact is going to be burned out and that's going to uh, create resistance uh, due to the worn out of the uh, <coughs> uh, contact surface and the contact is not going to close properly uh, touch each other uh, so it's going to have a high resistance so resistance is going to high resistance is going to affect uh, the circuit the flow of the current the voltage uh, so for this reason uh, i have replaced a relay without further diagnosing because the relay was uh, 43 pounds and i replaced and i i should have approved that but i uh, took the risk and i said uh, as i <coughs> read the <coughs> Uh, detection condition of the DTC and I am pretty sure that's going to be definitely the relay <coughs> okay now I'm going to do the uh, visual uh, inspect inspection so as you can see this is the front So this is the uh, <coughs> front near side uh, EBS uh, sensor or <coughs> wheel speed sensor. So I'm going to do the uh, visual inspection. So I'm going that. Here I'm going to check this here. That's also good. It's going to be all right as well. So this one then same inspection on the front near side. So as you can see uh, this is fast in the sensor is fast in here. So sometime the wire is the wire is uh, are broken here inside this clamp. Mm, and also, this is the uh, uh, sensor itself, this one, as you can see, that's also okay. And plus, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you here. Yeah. So this one, this one, as also check here as well. And now I'm going to the rear side. Uh, real near side so this is the sensor that's also okay so uh, here as you can see most of the time uh, this wire wire is uh, can be broken inside this clamp and also here and this one uh, here so this is okay this is all right now rear off side this is the sensor itself and uh, this is the clamp where the sensor uh, is fastened uh, to it and this is the upper one so as you can see uh, this is okay so <coughs> the uh, all four sensors uh, 
uh, front and uh, rear visual uh, inspection was all right. So the sensor uh, was okay. Okay, now I've got the relay. This is genuine Toyota part. part. I've got that from the dealer. And uh, it's exactly the same relay as this one. This is the old relay. And as you can see, it cost me 43 pounds zero two uh, pence. So I'm going to uh, open the relay. So this is the relay. I'm going to install this relay and uh, uh, clear fault code and everything. So this is the new relay and this is the old one, the old relay. And if uh, the problem occur again, and I'm going to keep you updating with that, whether I'm wrong or right. Okay. Uh, the relay lo 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 location is here so as you can see I'm going to install the relay so I'm going to install the relay I have installed the new relay so I'm going to clear fault codes everything and I'm going to give the car to the customer and <coughs> see if the fault code has returned hopefully uh, <coughs> not to return or it will not return uh, the uh, fault code so thanks for watching